you know, it always kind of astonished me, astonishes me that they can do that. Mooney grabs the ball and throws it 100 every time, no matter what. There's literally no change in pace other than when he throws this nasty slider. He's just, uh, he just gets out of bed and throws 100. And a call, strike three. Wow. And a swing and a miss. 103. Swing and a miss. Got him with the slider. Strike three. 102 and Ben Intendi watches it sail by. Andres Munoz is a 23-year-old right-handed relief pitcher for the Seattle Mariners. He's become a big name this year due to his electric fastball and a slider being compared to the tops in the league. But most people probably don't know exactly how he got to this point. Munoz was born and raised in Mexico, where he lived in the coastal city of Los Mochis. During an interview with the Mariners' Shannon Dreyer, Munoz talked about his childhood and how he got into baseball. He said he grew up watching baseball not in person, but on YouTube. He would watch his favorite pitchers, including Craig Kimbrell and Matt Harvey. And finally, when he was 12 years old, he started throwing a baseball. I always was the kind of guy uh, throw hard. Yeah. When I was 14, I threw 90. When I get to 15 years old, I threw 94. I remember that in Monterrey. And that was where all the scouts saw me and see that I have an opportunity here. And working hard and all that things, like, was, is what get me here. Jerry DePoto mentioned on the Mike Salk show a couple weeks back that oftentimes in the Latin America countries, when young players are developing their skills, since organized baseball isn't a common thing, players will focus on developing a certain tool such as speed or arm strength and then learn how to use that in a baseball context once they get signed. I'll take a guess here and say that Munoz focused on his arm strength. If you're throwing 94 at 15, you're getting signed. Munoz then signed with a professional team in Mexico at the age of 15 and soon after the Padres made a move signing him as an international free agent in July of 2015 at the age of 16. Wow. Munoz then progressed through the minor leagues over the next few years until in 2019 getting his first appearance in the big leagues. And go figure, Munoz actually spent some time in Washington State in the Tri-Cities, playing for the Padres short season single A affiliate, the Dust Devils. McCann strikes out, first big league strikeout for Munoz in his first big league appearance. Crowd stand and later that year striking out Bryce Harper. One, two pitch. Got it. 101. And Harper goes down swing. As a 20 year old in 2019, his sinker was on average the fastest in the major leagues at 101.2 miles per hour. And by the way, if you look close enough, that card I have on my desk is of Andres Munoz. Munoz would end up pitching in 22 games for the Padres in 2019, totaling 23 innings pitched with 30 strikeouts, 11 walks, and a 3.91 ERA. Overall, decent numbers to his first exposure in the big leagues, but there were some concerns with his walk rate in the minor leagues. On March of 2020, it was announced that he would undergo Tommy John surgery and miss all of the 2020 season. After which in August was the trade of all trades. The Padres needed a catcher for their playoff push and Jerry DePoto took advantage. The Mariners sent catcher Austin Nola along with relievers Austin Adams and Dan Altavia. In exchange for the headliner at the time, one of the Padres' top outfield prospects, Taylor Trammell, along with what seemed to be at the time icing on the cake in Andres Munoz, Ty France, and Luis Torrens. Just a quick sidebar, before the Padres traded Ty France to the Mariners, in 2019 in AAA, he hit 399 with 27 home runs and 89 RBIs in 76 games. Oh my goodness! But back to Munoz, at the time he was traded, he was recovering from Tommy John surgery, so there was that injury risk. He spent most of 2021 recovering, and then in the final game of the Mariners 2021 season, he made his first big league appearance for the Mariners. He pitched two thirds of an inning and topped out at 101 miles per hour. He'd be ready to go for 2022. At this point, Jerry had seen enough. On December 1st, 2021, the Mariners announced that they had extended Andres Munoz to a contract that was guaranteed through 2025, along with three club options, extending the potential of the contract through 2028, which covers all of his arbitration years. 
The total of the contract before the club options comes to $7.5 million guaranteed. Munoz gets the guarantee of $7.5 million, while the Mariners get the potential upside of a young up-and-coming flamethrower. Moving into 2022, there was real reason to believe that the Mariners had one of the best bullpens in the league, and Munoz had the potential to be the driving force. Then, in Munoz's first appearance in 2022, the Mariners' second game of the year and a chance for a hold. Get it done if he does it. A high fly to deep left field. Buxton turns on one into the third deck. And the Twins take a late inning lead. Wow. Munoz has an elite fastball that's in the 100th percentile in the major leagues, but great hitters like Buxton, even if it's a fastball at the shoulders, if they find a barrel, 101 is going a long ways. So, Munoz made an adjustment. Instead of relying on his elite fastball to get batters out, Munoz has thrown his slider 64% of the time so far this year, and his forcing fastball just 36% of the time. When the scouting report shows you have a 103 mile an hour fastball, the batter knows you gotta start early to even have a chance. So if batters will have a tendency to cheat on the fastball, then having an 89 mile an hour slider to work off that fastball is a big weapon. His fastball is averaging 100.2 miles per hour, his slider 88.4 miles per hour, and he's had 74 strikeouts by way of the slider and 18 strikeouts on the fastball. Each year, Baseball America pulls MLB managers, coaches, scouts, and front office executives to figure out who has the best tools in baseball. This year, Andres Munoz was voted as having the best slider in the American League. Munoz has generated 175 swings and misses on this pitch, which ranks fourth in the majors only behind Robbie Ray, Dylan Cease, and Shohei Otani, who are all starting pitchers. Swing and a miss. Got him with the slider. His 175 swings and misses on his slider also rank ahead of Edwin Diaz, who has 158 swings and misses. He's running an astonishing 50.4% whiff rate on this pitch and an expected batting average of just 122, which is the lowest of any pitch by any pitcher with a minimum of 150 plate appearances. So far through 61 and two thirds innings pitched, Munoz has 92 strikeouts with 15 walks, an ERA of 2.48, which comes to a strikeout per nine of 13.4, a walks per nine of 2.2, and a strikeout to walk ratio of 6.13. He only has four saves on the year, but Scott Service hasn't been using him in the traditional closer role. He's more so been throwing Munoz into the most high leverage situations in a game, where the Mariners are up by less than three runs and need to get some outs. And it sounds like he likes the pressure. I like the pressure, the, the adrenaline, adrenaline. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know, it's something that makes me try everything harder. Like, if I want to throw a pitch in that in that situations, if I want to throw a slider, I I, I always say I want to throw my best slider here. He's El Bombero. That started Los Bomberos. If not the biggest part was particularly what was happening in our bullpen. They've been honestly just carrying us all year. And now they have the, their cool nickname and they're, they're running with that. Los Bomberos. Mooney is the one that came up with it. He's like, it means a fireman. They have been putting out the fire. The fireman is coming. You talk about the Bomberos. If they had the lead in the sixth or seventh inning, game's over. They've been lights out. Doesn't matter who's coming out of the out of that door in left field, they're gonna get the job done. What would your perfect day look like? What would you do? Perfect day. Well, the pitch in a war series. <laughs> save. That's How I day. save in the war series. Well, let's make it happen. Thank you for watching, and if you made it this far, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, give it a share, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, goodbye, Zon, and don't forget it.